Hello guys, thank you so much for watching this video. What we're going to be doing today is having a further look at this accelerometer, uh, the MMA7361 accelerometer from icstation.com. This is the third of eventually four tutorials um, on this accelerometer. The first video we looked at what it is, some of the specifications and where I recommend buying it from, you know, just a little look into what it is. The second, we looked at three pins here, X, Y and Z, and did a piece of program where you moved it around and it printed to the serial monitor its relative position from the starting point. Today, I am going to look at some more pins, um, four more, sleep, zero G detect, uh, G select and self test. All of them pins are very useful with this accelerometer actually. I'll just show you now how I wired them. So the sleep one is the yellow wire, which is going to pin 13. The zero G detect, which is the whitish wire, is going to pin 11. The self test, which is this colour wire, purpley, is going to pin 12. And finally, the G select here yeah, is going to pin 10. Yeah, pin 10. But in actual fact, it doesn't matter how you wire them as long as you've either got 5 volt or 3.3 volts going to the right pin there, ground. You've got the X, Y, and Z pins going to uh, analog pins. And the rest of them, the G select, self test, sleep, and zero. So zero G detect going to digital pins. All right then. Uh, now we've got that wired up. Let's go to the computer and I'll show you. Some okay, I've written a bit of code here, but I just thought I'd mention what some of the pins do and how to work them because I haven't used them all. Sleep mode, the sleep pin. If you power it high, it will put it to sleep. It'll mean that it'll be less power consuming. That is how you use the sleep pin. Uh, then you've got zero G detect. And what zero G detect does is it detects linear free for all. So if you read that pin, it will be able to read linear free for all, like we're doing today, but uh, with obviously a different pin. Just read that one instead. And then uh, self test. Now I'm not going to go too into self test today because. Uh, I never had a need for it with accelerometers. I've had other accelerometers in the past, so I've never really had a need for it. But I'm sure you'll be able to find out more about it if you go off and Google it. But yeah, I've shown you pretty much every pin today besides self-test, but I have shown you how to wire it, just not the code. Right, the two, the main one that we're going to be using today is G-Select, the one that we haven't used before. Now, what G-Detect does... I'm also going to show you the library for it. But what G-Detect does is it can, um, so, sorry, select does is it, you can choose between two sensitivities, high and low. And um, you can also calibrate the accelerometer with some code we're doing today. Right, so I'll just talk you through it. But on the left, we've got last week's code, and you might want to have a look at that if you haven't done that yet. We've got hashtag include accelero mma7361.h. Then we are making integer variables for the three axes. We are beginning the serial monitor inside the void setup. Setup's where you set it up. Loop is the main code which you run in a loop. As the name suggests, you probably know that then. Uh, serial dot, that should be a capital letter, but serial dot begin 9600 for standard rate of communication between the Arduino and the computer. Accelerate dot begin, and then we are saying the pins that we're using today. Eight. 7, 6, 5, A5, A4, A3. Then we're setting the sensitivity to high. Now you can set it as low and you can set it as high. But for general use, I prefer to set the sensitivity as high. High sensitivity. Then we are calibrating it, accelerate.calibrate, which we haven't used before and is new to this week's code with the library. Then we are Using three new commands in the void loop, accelerator.getxraw, accelerator.getyraw, and accelerator.getzraw. Now, you can actually get the data in various different forms, but 
you can have a look at the other examples in the library for that but this is just gets the raw data receiving from the accelerometer it's basically like doing analog read 5 analog read 4 and analog read 3 that's basically what it is and then we're printing them using serial.print and serial.print line if you have a look i'll just show you the x1 because uh, the others are the same just with different letters serial.print x um, and then you see you see how it's in like speech marks because it's a string um, it's just going to print x colon and then below oh, no sorry on the same line it'll say what the actual value is x because it says above x equals accelerator.get x rule and we've said in begin what x y and z are so that is just how you use the accelerometer with the library and that will be probably the last tutorial on the accelerometer I will be doing another video where I attach it to a robot chassis but that is in the future maybe it might not be recently because uh, I'll have to compl I'll have to make some new code for the robot chassis and I've got loads of stuff coming from IC station soon which I'll want to be doing videos on as well and I am sorry just a quick message for people you've noticed I haven't been uploading very recently it's only been once a week I'm going to try and get back into the habit of twice a week but it's just um, I've just been a bit lazy recently but yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you next time and also don't forget to get this from icstation.com I'll leave a link in the description and use the discount code I've forgotten but it's in the description anyway there's two discount codes that you could use but one of them's 18% off, one of them's 10% off. Alright, thanks. See ya.